well, they're calling for some cold weather maybe soon. So I thought I'd top off my water tanks. So I got my generator out here running and uh, running my deep well pump down in my creek. Got my jumper hooked up and it goes through the switch there down to the creek. Hooks up the hose, gas can, funnel, homemade funnel, out of a Gatorade bottle. So I run my hose up here into where I got my rain catchment hooked up. I just dropped my hose down in there and uh, filling my tank. I got my filter and that's my pump. I never did fix it. I got one little like drip right there and I have never fixed it. I don't know why I've never fixed it. I mean, it really is not a big deal because it barely drips at all, like a drip every day, maybe. So who cares? Anyway, so my flow rate is really good off my pump. I uh, got it going here. Here, stupid one, water. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good pressure. I mean, it's a deep well pump for you know regular house, so it's gonna have pretty damn good pressure. I did some work today out here in my animal area. Move Loretta. I see you got into my paint. I finished up my little mini barn. I put the tent on the roof and a coat of, uh, or actually two coats of Thompson's water seal. And um, people say, oh man, you built that out of OSB. That ain't going to last. I built my kids a playhouse about five years ago out of OSB. And as long as you put something on it, it lasts a damn long time. This right here, this little mini coop that I built, that's OSB. And I put a exterior oil-based paint on it. And I think that is literally probably like four years old. So, I mean, I ain't building this stuff to last forever. I'm going to build it and then hopefully upgrade and do a little bit bigger and grander scale next time. But... Yeah, so I did this today, put the tin on the roof, the cat. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. Loretta's got the inside there is four by six for my goat. And then I got a little door storage here so I can put my um, chainsaw and all my stuff up there. And then I put all my grain and feed on this side here. Get back, Loretta. That Loretta, come on. Get your ass out of there. Damn it. Goats are a pain in the ass. Cute, but a pain in the ass. So, really pleased with that. I got my path. This is the path I cut down to access my creek. That goes all the way down to the back corner of my property. It's a lot easier to get to the creek this way. Then it is where I got the pump. Um, the pump's the quickest, shortest route, but it's also super steep. So, my solar rack, my other solar rack. I ain't getting a lot of sun today. It's pretty bad overcast, but uh, my batteries, I got eight, I think eight batteries, eight batteries. So, I'm doing pretty good as far as, you know, having a charge and current. I'm gonna go shut that generator off that tanks pretty well topped off so my little update for the day my tractor with all flat tires I 
got to get new tires. Some tires are shot. Well, that's going to be my deck down at the creek. All those pallets, I'm going to screw them all together, cover them with decking boards, make a rope railing, and uh, I'll have a good sized little deck down at the creek. I'm done pumping water so until I get my uh, pressure switch and tank hooked up that's pretty much how I do it I'm actually gonna get a 220 um, power inverter build a battery bank out here and uh, hook up some solar panels and then I'll have it ran off of solar that's my my goal for that I did pick up a bladder tank and it already had the pressure switch on it after I've done bought a pressure switch but I think that's a six a 4060 and the one I bought is a 2040 I think I'm just gonna leave the one I bought in line and cap that but anyway brief update peace out